Hi y'all, this is Mrs. D and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to talk about dividing by zero. So let's go ahead and get started. Anytime you have a problem where you're dividing by zero, which means zero is either in the denominator of a fraction or it's the second number when you're dividing, you cannot actually divide anything into zero groups. So if you're dividing by zero, your answer is going to be undefined. So let's look at why this doesn't work and why the answer is actually undefined. So we're going to start with a simple problem here, 12 divided by 4, which equals 3. If we were to work backwards and solve it by multiplying to check our answer, we would take 3 and multiply by 4 to get 12 as our answer. And we know 3 times 4 is 12. But let's look at the opposite. If I divide 12 by 0, I want to figure out what that's going to equal. So if we go opposite of that, we would take our answer here, which is the question mark in this situation, and multiply by zero. Well, anything times zero is going to equal zero. So there's nothing I can multiply times a zero to get 12, or any other number for that fact. So that's why if zero is in our denominator and we're dividing by zero, I can't actually multiply by any number in order to get that. So this would actually be undefined. Let's talk about the next step here. What if zero is being divided into groups? Well, in that situation, zero is in the numerator, so it's going to be a result of zero. Let's look at a couple of examples for this. So here I have zero divided by 14. Well, if I have zero candy bars and I'm splitting them over 14 people, nobody's going to get anything because I have zero that I'm sharing with everyone. So my answer is going to be zero. What if I have zero divided by three times x plus one? Well, in the denominator, we can actually take this one step further by doing the distributive property, which is another video if you want to look at that one. But if I'm dividing zero, by anything, which means I'm going to split up zero into X amount of groups, I'm still going to end up with zero. Now this is kind of a confusing concept, so let's look at a couple more examples here and we're going to go through some practice problems. So first we have zero divided by fourth. Well, if I have zero and I'm dividing it into fourths, I'm going to end up with zero as my answer. But what if I have one-fourth and I'm dividing it into zero groups? Well, I can't have zero groups, so in this case it is undefined. It can't happen. That means that zero divided by zero means that I can't split zero into zero groups either, so it's still undefined. You could also say no answer. And last, if I'm going to divide four chocolates among zero people, if there's no one there to share the chocolates, then my answer is going to be undefined because I can't divide chocolates by zero people. So let's go ahead and recap. There's really only two steps in order to do this, but if we are dividing anything into zero groups, we're dividing by zero, which means my answer is undefined. Now second, if zero is being divided into groups, then my result is going to be zero. So you just have to look at where the zero is in the problem. If zero is in the denominator, we're dividing it into zero groups, then my answer is undefined. If zero is in the numerator, and we're dividing zero of something into groups, then my answer is actually zero. I hope this video helped you out. If you need to watch it a couple more times, that's fine. If you still have questions, be ready to ask me something specific so that I can help you out. This is Mrs. D signing off. Have a great day. Bye.